chemistryadventure.com. Okay, this is Greencast 12.15. One of the neat things about the free energy calculation is that you can predict whether something will be spontaneous or not based simply on the signs of the enthalpy and the entropy. Let's figure that out. Okay, here's delta H, here's delta S. Is it spontaneous? Well, if the change in the enthalpy is negative, yeah, that favors spontaneous. And if this is positive, notice it's delta G minus Delta G equals delta H minus T delta S. Therefore, a positive delta S does take, tend to make overall a more negative number because it's subtracting. That's got to always be spontaneous. This is positive. That's not good. That's non-spontaneous. If this is negative, okay, that gets reversed to another positive when you incorporate that negative sign. So that's doubly bad. I think of it that way. Never spontaneous. The other two must be, the other two combinations must be sometimes tends to favor non-spontaneous, tends to favor spontaneous. Well, okay, I'm going to say it depends on temperature because if this thing can be at a really high temperature, it might overwhelm that since it's T delta S. I hope you're following this. This, hmm, tends to favor spontaneous. This one, oop, no, that's going to work in the opposite. So if that this thing is temperature is high enough, then this will dominate. And that's how we can predict some spontaneity based simply on the side of the enthalpy and the entropy component.